are underway. Chiefs and Chargers Sunday night football. I wake up yelling, get the bag, gotta get the bag. He was on fire in that first half. Yeah, I leveled up a couple levels, bruh. Sheds a tackle up the right sideline. The Chiefs have the lead. I ain't worried about when trouble comes. Ball is out. And the Chargers are up two. The Chiefs left to go 75 yards. There was no doubt that we were going to go down there and score. Kelsey, do it to the Chargers again. What a comeback by the Kansas City Chiefs. You saw Brady have this level of team success early in his career, but he wasn't doing this individually, like just putting up crazy cartoon numbers. And you've seen guys like Marino in his day put up crazy numbers individually, but he didn't have this level of team success, meaning now deep into his fifth season as a starter, and no one's done what Patrick Mahomes done before, ever. And Key, he did it again, and it was like, look, Travis Kelsey caught three touch, scores three touchdowns, Chiefs rally, passed the Chargers, 30 to 27. There was over a minute left when 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 Mahomes got the ball. You're like, okay, they're gonna do this. This is a wrap. They're now three games ahead of the five and five Chargers in the division, which was supposed to be the best in football, but didn't turn out that way. Um, and and Chargers you. Chargers the closest <laughs> you know, to the Chiefs. He certainly told us, like, yeah, yeah, it seems this way. All the hype and yeast around the quarterbacks, but watch it be some stupid division like the NFC. Sure enough, it's exactly what happened, guys. Listen to Travis, Travis Kelsey, oh, sorry, Patrick Mahomes on Travis Kelsey after the game. I think what's special about him is he just competes. I mean, at the end of the day, he's going to keep fighting until the very end. And um, that's what I, you, when you see that, I think it not only is impressive for him, but it gets other guys going. It shows that, I mean, he's, I mean, like I said, he's one of the best, not the best tight end of all time, and he's coming to work every single day to get better. And so that shows you whenever you step into the facility, you're like, man, I got to get to work. If this guy's doing it, I have to be able to at least match that. Um, and so that leadership that he brings, uh, as well as the play he brings in the field, is special, and it, it takes a lot, of, a lot off my shoulders. Key, you were the one who said before the season started, He's going to be fine without Tyreek Hill because he still has his alpha receiver, the guy who keeps the chains moving. They run the offense through Travis Kelsey. Yeah, and, and, and that is what people, you know, sometimes people forget because the Tyreek Hill splash. Tyreek Hill has splash, and he can pick him up and put him down. But the offense always kind of ran through Travis Kelsey because the shallow crosses, the shorter things, he could get yak yards afterwards. You know, the last time I really seen a tight end that looked like this to me is when I was a kid. Kellen Winslow Sr. was ridiculous like this. He he played in a in a time with a quarterback in Dan Fouts for the Chargers, by the way. And he just, you know, he was a different type of receiver, different mold. He was the early stages of a pass catching tight end, not an inline blocking tight end like most guys that we see. You know, when you start to look at the tight end positions historically, he's just like right there at the top, man. And and you could always argue there's there's Antonio Gates or Ozzy Newsom or Tony Gonzalez or whoever you want to Shannon Sharp. This dude right here, though, is for my eyes, he's probably the best. Why? Better, hold better on, hold than on. Gronk? Better than Gronk, Key? Dif you didn't mention different, Gronk. Different than Gronk. Gronk isn't – Travis Kelsey's like a receiver playing tied in, a mm -hmm. bigger wide receiver with the tag of a tied in. Gronk, it, Gronk comes with a lot of – you know, snack, cracker, pop, Super Bowl championships, uh, uh, somewhat of a, a, a I don't know, a, a, a loud guy jumping into wrestling rings and all that sort of stuff. Where this dude, I'm talking about just on the football field, is he just it, it different. He's just a different dude. So I'll tell you, I got a chance to get involved in a company that's producing their podcast, New Heights, by Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey. So I got a chance to hear a lot of this footage that they've been putting out lately. It's one of the best podcasts there is in sports. Yo, he's on a mission each and every single day. Like, all he thinks about is being the greatest tight end and being the greatest winner of all time. Like, it, it, it comes across in his commentary daily. And also, I got to give Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid a lot of credit. They used a lot of three, three tight ends on the field last night, a ton. Talk about Noah Gray, Jordy Fortson, and Travis Kelsey all combined for seven catches, 181 yards, and obviously Kelsey with those 3D, 3Ds. But key, in, 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 in a day in which McCole Hartman – is not playing, Juju Smith-Schuster is not on the field. It just seems like this team, once again, does not miss a beat because you have the best offensive weapon. Him and Tyreek Hill, you tell me, name a better offensive weapon in the NFL between Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, Key. Well, I don't really even think it's, a, it's more, I don't even think it's really about Tyreek Hill as much as it is about Travis Kelsey and what they want to do offensively. When they line mm -hmm. him up. Now, remember, Tyreek Hill, you know, you don't need to remember because you know Tyreek Hill is in Miami. And 
when yeah. he left to go to Miami in a trade, the, the, the sky was falling for the Kansas City haters, right? Oh, they're not going to make the playoffs. They're not going to do this. And the entire time, if they know the offense and they know the system and they've been paying attention to it, it was never going to slow down. All it was going to do is make Patrick Mahomes a much better quarterback, Max, than he was in the past. Because it now yeah. he has to spread it around hey, and hey, get it to several different receivers. But wait, I, I had, my question was, <laughs> name me a better offensive weapon than Tyreek Hill and Travis Saquon Kelsey. is up there. A couple other McCaffrey, oh, well, a couple guys. I, I, just say, yeah. I mean, there's a, yeah. bu- there's a, a, there's a bunch of but guys. That's McCaffrey. The highest, that's the highest, highest level, yeah. though. Yeah. I would At say his so. size, hey, his frame, though? No question. He's ridiculous. By the way, he just had his 33rd 100-yard game. That's a new record for tight ends, to both of your points, right? Like, he's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. And, and in fact, Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, once they've separated now, oh. you can see the quality of each. Sometimes when guys are on the same team, I mean, you could see it, but some people get confused because the numbers, there's only one football, the numbers can Man, only be so high, right? You're not supposed to catch a shallow cross and turn the corner as a tight end. Right. It's just not supposed to happen. Yeah, it's just I mean, not supposed to happen. And then, You're not supposed to run a shallow cross and run away from a safety in a box coming down to cut you off. You know, those are two things that Travis Kelsey did in that game to get two of his touchdowns. One at the end of the game and one throughout the course of the game. You're, you're just not supposed to do that. Receivers can't do that. He does it. That's for sure. It's about yak yards. Um, meantime, everyone anointed Josh Allen the one who's going to be challenging Mahomes the whole time. And to me, Josh Allen's certainly one of them. He's incredible, right? But to me, Herbert's that guy, right? Herbert now has fallen twice in the regular season. Well, one time it's because the guy was hurt. The other time they were pinned back late in the game. But both times in games he could have easily won, he has not been able to get over the Patrick Mahomes hurdle. And guys... Herbert is, to me, to my eyeball test, is great. His deep ball might be the best I've ever seen. It's certainly on a short list. Huh. I mean, there you see one. Um, and Josh Allen's a cyborg. I, like, I get it in both cases. One of the reasons they can't buy, get by Patrick Mahomes is because he's a little better than those guys. Like, these guys, you can't imagine when you're looking at Herbert and, and Allen. Like, wait, they get, get better than this? Yup. Lamar Jackson, if you're a quarterback in the AFC, a young quarterback, this is the, this is the hurdle. Right? Like, Lamar got to get by. Patrick Mahomes hasn't done it. Justin Herbert hasn't done it. Uh, uh, Josh Allen obviously hasn't done it. The only dude who's done it, which is not, I give him credit for this, even though, yeah, there was a lot of luck in this net. Joe Burrow got by Patrick Mahomes. Only one of the young guns in the AFC at quarterback least, who got by you, him. At least you know, Max. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know you hurried up and said, ah, it's a lot of luck. I had at to, least you I had know. To sneak that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sneak that in there to indemnify myself. But look, he, he, here's what I would say to you before mm-hmm. we move on yeah. and give a little bit of cash away. Yeah. Justin Herbert was 23 of 30, 280, Ooh. two touchdowns, and guess what? The one interception yeah, that cost him the game in yep. the end. Yep. If he doesn't do that, Maybe they, win. they probably win the game. It's unreal. <laughs> or at least tie it. Yeah. Or at least tie it to take it in overtime and give themselves a chance to win. Mm-hmm. And Mahomes dropped back a lot, violating your principle of under 25 drop back. Well, he, he always does he, it. He, it. He always, that's who he right. is. Yeah, but he Mahomes. only went four over now. It wasn't yeah. like he went 24 he over. Didn't he didn't go 46 times. Right, yeah. Yeah, he only threw it 34 times. All right. It's time for the 10K a day giveaway, guys. Money. KJ and Max, 10K giveaway. Money. All right, 